Welcome back to AM Northwest. How about you wow your sweetie with a show-stopping dessert on Valentine's Day? Here to share her special recipe, we welcome back local baker and bakery owner, Mindy Crisato. Good to have Hi, you with us Helen. again, Mindy. So good. This, I saw this and I just thought, oh, this is amazing. The fine, when you did the final thing, oh my gosh, it's incredible. So let's take a look at it. You call, what do you call it again? It's a... A cookie tart. A cookie tart. Look at this. This is incredible. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. It, it looks impressive, but it's actually very easy to make. Okay. It's just my sugar cookie recipe, which we've actually done before, but I've given the recipe again. It'll be on the website. Okay. Uh, layered with cream cheese frosting, so it actually melts together, and it reads a lot like a cheesecake. Oh, wow. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I already made the sugar cookies. Okay. I rolled them out in a fun heart right. shape for you. Okay. And we're going to make cream cheese frosting. So okay. Cream cheese. And do you want it? That's a lot of cream cheese. <laughs> I never knew it came in that big a package. And all, I'm assuming room temperature. Um, or does actually, it? The, the, it's very important. The butter is super soft in room temperature. Okay. But the cream cheese actually pull it straight out of the fridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So mix that together first. Really good. Just soften it up, break it up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That was no like worries. we're in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. It's good. <laughs> so beat that cream cheese. Yeah. There we go. And then add that super, see, feel super, super yeah. soft. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Microwave for, oh, for sure. Okay, that's an easy way to so do that's, that. Okay. That's the first trick is to soften the butter, soften the heck out of the butter. Yeah. Beat that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Just like love. Helen. Yeah, yes. Unpredictable. Unpredictable. Totally. Okay. We're going to give it a scrape. Yeah. And let's so make sure it's, I think it, <laughs> it's kind of stuck now, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's all right. We somehow always get through, no yeah. matter how many yes. Valentine's here orders we, here we Here we go. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> there and we go. Then, oh, okay. Is it, is it? I'm not sure if it's in or not. I think it is. Okay. Just like, yeah. Oh, no. powdered powder sugar. sugar. Okay. And we can add uh, two teaspoons of vanilla. You got it. So this is the one. Turn it on the lowest speed. Yeah. <laughs> I've learned that lesson. Okay, okay, go ahead and throw that in. Two, two, mm -hmm. one. So those are the two main points of failure for cream cheese frosting. Not softening the butter enough. Okay. And not scraping enough. Oh, okay, gotcha. So if I see cream cheese lumps in your frosting, I know you no, didn't scrape didn't enough. No, didn't scrape enough, got if it. If I see butter lumps, I know you didn't soften your butter enough. Okay. There we go. I have 40 employees, so I've seen some things. <laughs> I bet you have. There we go. Oh there my we go. gosh, okay. And I got a piping bag. Okay. How did you come up with this idea? Were you inspired by something? Actually, did, I didn't come up with the cookie tart. Okay. Um, my former neighbor, uh, Liz Merrick, that started the Sugar Geek. Oh blog. yeah, yeah, I love her. Uh, yeah, her and I used to you live right down the street. You guys live? No way. That close to each other? <laughs> Sometimes we would send Too each other talented. clients. I'd be like, I don't want to do this wedding cake. Here, Liz, you take this one. Oh, or she wow. would send me one. <laughs> wow. Because we'd have a yeah, her style is much more yeah uh, fancy than mine. Uh, so we're gonna just pipe dollop. Want me to try it? Oh, oh no, you show it. me first and then I'll follow you. Okay. Oh, I always do a little bit to stick it to the board so it doesn't slide around. Oh, that's a smart idea. And I can't believe that you, you and Liz were next work live close to each other. That's yeah, kind of she was on Is It Cake recently. Yes! And she was great on Is It Cake. Know, she was best. robbed, honestly. I, it, I mean, that show is so hard. Yeah. I could never go on that no, show. It, it's a tough show to make so, to make something and have it be a cake, to make it look like a cake. There's so much involved there. So I'll do the top layer. Okay. And then we can put there them there. together. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> There's a reason why I gave you the middle layer. I'm just kidding. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like to put a lot on there. Oh, that, that frosting is really good. Okay. okay, and then we're <gasps> gonna garnish it. Wow, no Yeah, way. just go for it. Just so you, how do you choose what you're gonna put on it? I look in my fridge and I say, what do I have? Oh, wow, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna kind of follow what you. Yeah. What oh, and doing. I have a special garnish for you. Oh, okay. 
You see? Oh, wow, that's so sweet. And there's the producer. She always gets me. Oh, there's Tammy. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and you put blackberries on it. I like to cluster things. Okay, so I'll put this so one over here. So it looks like I had a plan. Yeah. Rather than just... And are these little cookies, are they made just with your sugar, uh, sugar cookie dough recipe as well? Yes. Okay. And then just sprinkled with... Uh, That's a basic flat icing, which is powdered sh uh, powdered sugar and water and just a okay. little <gasps> drop of food color. What? This is like a marshmallow, a isn't marshmallow it? A marshmallow cut into a heart. Yeah. No way. And then what'd you put on the top? Is that some kind of a dye? Uh, it's a, Yeah, just the food color just marbled in. By the way, I got to ask you, how are your girls doing? They're so cute. Oh, they're Are they good. getting older all the time? Are they still eating your goodies? Yes, look at this. They <laughs> have to be the morning. lucky. That was they, this morning at really? the bakery. <laughs> yeah. They have to be like the luckiest girls in the world. Well, I they're swear. eating donuts for breakfast, so, so what do you think? Yeah, so I think they're living their they're best life. They're potato donuts, I will say. So potato don't, don't donuts. you worry, there's vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> vegetables, I love it. And then you took some rose petals here, too. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, how do you eat this? Well, once it so once you chill it and it sets, it actually melds together and it really is a lot like a cheesecake. It's going to be a little crisp for us right now. So, oh, okay, yeah. Um, but just but I did. I'm going to have to have more of this. Yeah, I would normally okay. just slice it, like slice it like a cake, like. And all that was worth that. Worth <laughs> worth worth, <laughs> worth the bowl, all that the bowl drama. Is, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> uh, great job. So we're going to put the recipe on our website at k2.com. Thank you so much, Minnie. Great Thank to see you. you again. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest.